this for uh, manual override, just make sure everything acts the way I'm expecting it to. So once I'm comfortable with uh, steering it manually, then I'm going to enable the wind-driven autopilot um, without the sail. So we're still going to be motoring, and I'm just going to see how the PID reacts uh, at different speeds. So I'm going to get up to about five miles an hour and kind of tune it, get a rough tune on it so that I'm not having to do that while also managing sail. So once I get a rough tune and I feel comfortable with the boat uh, maintaining a somewhat of a good course, then I will um, hoist the sails and enable the autopilot in actual sailing mode. So. I'm Anna and this is Ignacio. We, along with our daughter Elena and our pup Bay, are the new salt selling crew. We are DIYers with a growing appetite for big adventure. Our goal is to DIY and trade our way up to a blue water worthy boat and set sail on an adventure by sea. We are new to selling and plan to develop our selling skills along the way. Subscribe to stay up to date with our progress and adventures. This is the slow speed actuator. The, the, fast, the high speed actuator is supposed to show up today at some point, but I just figured I'd get out here and try this. And in worst case, next time I come out, uh, now it's supposed to dock and be no big deal to come out after work, uh, I can come out and test that. Go. All right, so the actuator is installed. We're still only doing uh, three miles an hour here. I'm going to enable my steering, and uh, here's a starboard turn. See my little blue pointer right here and then the wind angle so wind angle is just varying which as expected especially since we're uh, motoring kind of across the wind anyway 1380 of D parameter I'm gonna update those parameters and then we'll see kind of what how it reacts uh,
rudder's doing it, it's just going back and forth. It's never really finding a, uh, a happy medium. Hopefully I have enough fuel in the boat for this. I don't need to check. So this is going to be 1600 proportional. It's updated now. Wind is 8.6. We're a little bit too close to the wind. We're right at 30 degrees, so we're we're borderline sailable with this boat. Now you see it in nice. Yeah, so I may end up needing to uh, change my gain 
you know, put a uh, basically speed parameter. The faster I go, the more it needs to uh, to apply. But I think a lot of this, these issues I'm having, will be resolved with the faster actuators. Some of you have mentioned in uh, com previous comments. So. All right. Well, the wind has died. We're down to 6.5, and uh, sailing this close to the wind at 6.5 is tough. Especially with only the main. I mean, if I had the Genoa, we'd be scooting right now. You wanna take it slow, get this figured out, and make sure it's uh, good. So, pretty happy right now with the, uh, the results. I do need to get an hour meter, or uh, an amp meter, to, to calculate how much power this thing has drawn over an hour, or, uh, over an hour, just so I know how much battery I need. All right, battery voltage is 12.1. We started at 12.4. Uh, we've been at we've been at this about an hour. So, um, granted, this battery is old and weak for sure. I don't know how much I charged this charge controller. Oh crap! Actuator came disconnected. Let's see if we can get back on course here. Whoops! Yeah, I went down below. Hang out and. Uh, Actuator then came disconnected, and now I'm stuck in a O2. All right, now that we got all that situated, let's see if uh, I can go to the front of the boat while the autopilot's going. I realize that's a pretty bold move, but let me go to the front of the boat while the autopilot's going and see, uh, get some cool shots. I need to sheet the Genoa in a little bit. We'll do that when we get back in. Nice calm day. All right, so our wind, you can see, has pretty much died. And we're coming up close to a shoreline. So you can see how, uh, how wavy that is. I, I wanna say that waviness is just due to the, uh, the actuator being too slow. I can't speed it up anymore. Um, so I mean, it's at least oscillating around its target, which is good. So um, I'm gonna read up a little bit more on uh, control tuning, just to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. Um, yeah, and then see what this new actuator will do. A little bit of wing on wing, hopefully we don't jibe, the autopilot's driving for us. We are like... On the verge of jibing. I guess I hit the tack button on accident. We are five degrees from dead down wind.
not. So I gave it a huge error and it uh, it's oscillating real bad. So I'm gonna increase the D. Uh, somewhere around 900. There we go, 960. trick. The wind is, uh, the wind's really kicking us around right now, but uh, increasing that D parameter has uh, greatly reduced the oscillations, and the waves are just throwing us around, so it's kind of a, it's going to be tough to maintain something perfect. But. Hey, is he good pup? Safety of the marina. If you enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends.